Hello, um, welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. Um, I know it has been a very long time since I posted anything, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I moved across the country, I was going through some things with my mental health and we're back. We're back and better than ever. Um, you might notice I am in a new home. I actually live in Michigan now, which is really exciting. Things are really good and awesome. Um, I have a new obsession that I thought it'd be really fun to start making content about because it's something that I'm passionate about. I've really been enjoying. It's brought me a lot of joy and a lot of life. And so does YouTube. So I was like, why should we not put the two together? Um, so I've recently been pretty obsessed with plants. I love them. They love me. It has been so much fun collecting plants, taking care of them, learning about them. And I've been at it for a couple months now. I've always owned like a couple plants, but as far as like actually really diving into the hobby and really enjoying it, that's been pretty recent for me. I wanted to today um, show you my perlite propagations. I do want to do a plant tour soon, but I have a lot of them. Um, and I thought today I could just show you my perlite propagations and start from there. Um, so I have been propagating my plants in perlite. So not all of them, some of them do fine in water, but the ones that are prone to root rot or that I really want to treat with care, I have been propagating in perlite. Um, and I do have four little Pelea pups here that I would like to propagate today. Um, so I thought we could do it in perlite and I'll show you how I do it. So here we have my little jar of perlite, um, as you can see here. And this is the mama plant. So this is um, the plant that it came from. So this is a Pelea. Um, it's also called a Chinese money plant. We've got this guy here. Um, I have pre-soaked this perlite, so it's ready to go for me. Um, so I just soaked it for like eight minutes, something like that. And what I'm gonna do next is kind of push everything down, make sure it's all down in there. And then I'm gonna take these little pups. So I've actually got four of them here. So here's the first one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, make a little hole with my stake and then just get it in there like so. So I'll show you from a different angle so that you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna make a hole with my stake and then get one of my pups. This one's pretty small, but I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, at least give it a chance here. We're gonna stick it down in there. She's pretty fragile. Um, I wish I had shown you guys how I actually cut these off too, but it was pretty simple. So that's the first two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've got all four pups in there. Um, and next thing I'm gonna do is I have some fertilizer water here. It says that lemonade, it's not, it's plant food. Um, so I use, I've been using Grow by Into the Wild. I found a um, like starter kit for plant people. It had like neem oil, um, fertilizer, like concentrate and um, what else? And then like this soil enricher. Um, my plants have loved all of it. It's been really good. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this and we're gonna fill it about a third of the way. So I'm gonna do some of this and then some regular water cause just fertilizer might be a little much for these guys. So we'll just do a little. Okay, and then I'll top it off with a little bit of filtered water. Since my stems aren't going all the way down, I just went to the top of the perlite because they're sticking up enough that I think they'll be okay. So I've been propagating some of my plants with perlite and honestly, it has gone so much better than trying to propagate them in water. Um, so I'll show you some of the ones I'm propagating right now and then I'll talk to you a little bit about perlite propagation. So first of all, the reason I started perlite propagation was for this plant. When I do my plant tour, I'll go more into all of them, but this is my Thai constellation. Um, my friend and I um, both wanted one of these, so we um, split a plant and I got the one that needed to be propagated, which I don't mind at all. Sorry, I'm looking at the roots. Um, I don't mind at all because propagating is a lot less scary to me than trying to take care of a plant 
in soil. <laughs> um, so it was doing okay in water, but I was watching, um, if you like plants, you should watch her. I was watching Fern and basically she was telling her story about her Thai constellation and how perlite propagation really helped for her. Some people also do it in LECA, but it really helps with root rot um, and just getting more oxygen to the roots. So, so far it's been doing really well. As soon as I moved it to the perlite, it literally shot out like an inch of root. So it really seems to like it. Um, let me grab my other ones. I'll show you my other perlite propagations. Okay, here's my other one. So this is my begonia maculata or like polka dot begonia. To be honest, I think this one might be done for. Um, we're gonna keep trying, but it's not shooting out any roots for me. Um, but the rest of my plant is healthy. So I'm just hoping for the best. Um, the it wasn't doing very well until i um kind of trimmed back some of the leaves that were doing really poorly and then it started shooting out new growth so i might give up on this propagation to be honest but the nice thing it did stop the rot it's not rotting anymore so we'll take that um this one i've got a bunch of little plants in so all of these were propagating in water i have a string of, of pearls I just realized I said it's a string of pearls, but it's a string of tears for the whole thing. Sorry. Some ivy, which is probably ready to be potted now, honestly. And then I just stuck in some string of turtles too. Um, so I'll show you them. Here's everyone. Um, so my string of pearls was doing very poorly. If you don't know, string of pearls have very, very, um, very, very intricate, tiny roots. So, they're pretty prone to root rot. And actually this plant, when I got it, had quite a bit of root rot. Um, and I was only able to save a few. And then when I started water propagating it, they started rotting more. And I was like, fabulous. So unfortunately this plant has been through a lot. I literally have three strings left, but when I put it in water, or I'm sorry, when I put it in perlite, it started shooting out some new growth, which I'll show you. So it's pretty itty bitty, but if you look at the very end here, I've got three new pearls coming out um, and it seems to be doing so much better. The pearls are more plump. They're not rotting anymore. Um, and then I also have new growth on my ivy. Um, this has popped out since water propagating and I've got a couple other little stems here. It does look like she got a little sunburnt, but that's okay. Look at all the new babies. So she's doing really well um, besides, besides the sunburn, which... She's not used to this much light. My ivy is actually in a north facing window, which it really loves. It does not seem to enjoy the more direct light that I've been giving it, but I'll show you its roots. It's doing really well other than that. So these roots were itty bitty, tiny, tiny, tiny when I put them in um, perlite and they had been in water for a while. And now look at them. They're literally so healthy and doing so well. I probably could plant it now, but I might wait a little longer. Um, this is just one of the stems. The other ones are also doing very well, though. And this is the first root I've seen since trying to propagate these. Um, like I said, they're really tiny and intricate, but this is on the one that has that new growth. So it's doing really well. I'm going to pop all of these back in water for a little bit longer, but I'm happy to see how well they're doing. So um, they are really easy to take care of when they're in uh, when they're propagating in general, but especially perlite propagation. All you have to do is keep an eye on the water level and then just top it off. So like this one is pretty dry. I'm gonna take a little bit of my fertilizing water and pour that in there. And then again, go in with a little bit of filtered water. And I probably won't have to look at this or touch it for another month. Um, they're really easy to take care of. Really nice way to propagate without having to worry about um, root rot or there being enough oxygen getting to your plants. Um, my plants have been very happy in um, this kind of propagation. Like I said, other than a little bit of sunburn on these poor ivies, but that's okay. They have roots, so I'm hoping um, I can just trim off the leaves that aren't doing so hot. 
that is my perlite propagations. I do have a couple water props too, but I'll show you those in a different video. I thought I'd show you my herbs as well that I've started collecting. I'm not super sure about this yet, but um, I have started collecting some herbs and I will show you those and then that'll probably be it for today. Okay, so let's talk herbs. Um, first of all, I started this green onion from, so it's three green onions. I started them off from grocery store green onions and literally like all of this is new growth. So what I did, if you want to do this at home, is I took a steak like this and I just put it through um, three green onion, just the bottom parts with the roots. I let them root up a little bit and start growing and then I put them in soil and they're so easy. They're funny because they're like really curly. Um, so that's this one. I am going to water everyone in just a moment. Secondly, okay, so I got these from my sister-in-law and unfortunately they don't seem too happy with me. Um, she sent me these in the mail. I did not know they were in my mailbox. So they sat in the mailbox for a couple days. Um, we had no survivors as far as the tomatoes go, but I do have basil and two stems of thyme. Um, the basil's not doing so hot. It's really not. So I might actually chop that off. Um, it smells great. It smells basil-y. Um, but yeah, it's really not doing well. So I'm probably going to chop that off. And all of these need watering. The difference between houseplants and, um, like, you know, like herbs and vegetables is they need to stay pretty moist. Houseplants do not. So I'm getting used to like not having to let them dry all the way out, but um, they seem to be doing fairly well. So we're gonna give it our best shot because I do like the fact that these plants, these plants will feed me. Um, anyways, so here we have some cilantro. Um, oh, it smells so good. I just got these yesterday. My friend Bella actually so sweetly got these for me, um, which was very kind because she knows I love growing plants. So she got me cilantro and then this is so cute. I was not expecting it to look as cute as it does. It does need a repot as you can see. This is peppermint, you guys. Like how cute is she? Um, so yeah, I'm growing peppermint, cilantro, basil, thyme, and green onions at the moment. Um, I am gonna try to get a setup where they can all kind of like be in the same vicinity in my kitchen. I just don't really have a place for them right now. So that's the thing, um, but I'm going to water these. Um, I'm just gonna put them in here so that they can have some drainage. They all need water actually, <laughs> so. Um, but I'm gonna water these and then I'm gonna show you one other herb or one other vegetable actually that I'm working on at the moment. These plants just deserve so much better. I don't know how to take care of herbs. I'm trying, I'm trying Alicia. I'm sorry, this tomato plant is so sad. I left it in there because I felt bad for her. I didn't want to give up on her, but she's not doing well. So the last thing I wanted to show you, and we can just look at them together so you guys can start this journey with me. I am trying to grow some mini bell peppers. So what I've done here is I took a wet paper towel. I got some mini bell pepper seeds, again, from the grocery store. So not sure how well this will work. Um, I put them in a baggie. And then I put the baggie on my windowsill. It is not looking good, but we're gonna look at them together. Um, here they are. I don't have high hopes. It's been like almost two weeks. I definitely should have gotten some sprouts by now and I'm not seeing any. <gasps> I cannot believe it. There's a few sprouts, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, I've got like four sprouts. We've got some sprouts. How freaking exciting. Not many, but you know what? Five is better than none. Five is better than none. I might close this back up and put it back in my window. Um, oh, I don't know if I said that. I taped the bag into my window um, and I don't see any mold. So I think I could probably let them keep going for a little longer. 
I think I'm gonna do just that um, and see if I can get a few more sprouts and then I'll be able to plant them soon, which is very exciting. Planting from a seed is, pro is actually not my favorite because um, I like instant gratification and I like things that um, like I can see growth and like actually use them sooner. But you know what? I wanna plant these outside in my garden eventually. So taking care of them in here and getting them to a place where they can be out there and then give me plants every year is a really fun idea. So anyways, I'm gonna water all of these guys. Stay tuned. I would love to do a um, video showing all of my house plants soon. I have a lot, um, I love them all, and I would love to just do a long video just telling you about them all. There's a little sneak peek back there, my begonia maculata. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I have a lot I need to do here, so I'm gonna get cracking on some house chores, um, and then that way I can film a video for you soon with a house tour and a tour of my plants. So have a wonderful evening. Well, evening for me, don't know what time it is for you. Um, hate to assume, sorry about that. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.